Hi fishy folks and happy Sunday fun day to you. Guys, before we go ahead and get into the video, do me a favor, smash that subscribe button, gently caress the notification bell, and when we're done, go ahead and check out michaelsfishroom.com. I got plecos up on the website, there are some bettas now, and of course, pretty cool looking guppies, including the mutt guppies. Also, until Sunday the 26th at 11.59, so before Monday, you can use promo code Thank you 10 for $10 off your entire purchase as a thank you to you for 10,000 subscribers for me on YouTube. Today, guys, we're going to be uh, breaking down the guppy ponds. It's time. Summer is officially over, and uh, it's supposed to be getting into the, the upper 50s a couple nights in a row, and I don't want to risk it and then have to rush and, and pull them in, so uh, you're going to watch me pull them in and uh, see how I break them down, see how I go through them. I got, I'm gonna show you kind of what they look like, some of them look like, and then uh, this is gonna be a two-parter. So in the next part, which will be released sometime later this week, maybe Friday, maybe Wednesday, not sure yet, uh, I'll show you how I acclimate them and what I do to put them in tanks. So go grab some popcorn and a cold beverage and uh, enjoy michaelsfishroom.com. All right, fishy folks, the time has come. The end of summer, the end of my guppy ponds. Uh, we're supposed to actually get into the 50s for a couple nights this week, and I don't want to risk it, so I have some time this weekend. It's actually Saturday. Tomorrow's supposed to rain most of the day, so I'm going to pull the guppy ponds, at least the fish out of the guppy ponds, and probably finish cleaning up the ponds later in the week or the next weekend. But So we got the, uh, the grass guppy pond. I'm hoping there are some males in there, but to be honest, I don't see any. Um, then we have another pond with a really nice blue male guppy, but I don't remember what the heck I put in here. <clears throat> this is the platinum red dragon mosaic that won second place. I had to remember the name. That won second place with the Keystone Clash. And you can see how spectacular the Java Moss does. I'm convinced Java Moss needs cooler water to do really, really well, um, which isn't really like rocket science, but it was kind of new for me to figure out, I guess. This is a red Cobra guppy tank, uh, lots of fry, lots of duckweed, and then of course we have the mutt guppy pond, 40-ish gallons. It's probably 150 fish in here. So the plan is... Huh. I'm fine. The plan is use the siphon to uh, take some water into the tubs, uh, net out all the fish. I may have to take all the moss and put it in a separate bucket. And then uh, when I get downstairs, I'm going to have to acclimate. Uh, probably this water is probably pretty soft and uh, low pH. So Martin from supercichlids.com gave me these new test strips. Uh, it's a new line, Aquarium Munster they're, they're carrying. I don't know much about it. He just basically threw it at me and said, here, try this. Let me know what you think. He didn't ask me to do a video on it. I'm not technically doing a video on it. I'm just going to use it to see what the pH up here is and the hardness and then see what it is downstairs in my tanks. Looks like directions are pretty easy. Dip it for one second, wiggle it, wait 60 seconds and check it. So I don't have like a, a master test kit to test to uh, um, compare to. I know, it's weird. I have 55 fish tanks and I don't test my water. Nope. Uh, all my master test kit stuff expired and I haven't got new stuff because I don't really need it. So we're gonna try this just as a comparison between the two tanks. And then of course we have a big net. Hello. And I also brought out the viewer or dip and pour, whatever you call it, so I can see some of the fish that are coming out of these ponds. So why don't you guys uh, go grab a beverage, perhaps some snacks. I found this great new spreadable cheese by Finlandia, black garlic cheese on some Ritz crackers. It's delicious. Go grab some of that. A nice cold beverage. Get comfortable. This is going to be a long one. And I'll be right back. Well, all right, fishy folks, we're gonna start with the bluegrass. And these water hyacinths aren't gonna make it over the um, winter. I'm just gonna kind of move them aside for now. I may put them back in the tub 
Uh, I want to try to shake all the fry out, but I may put them back in the tub when I'm done and just let them grow, or I may just throw them out. Or the most likely scenario is I forget, and they're right here next year. Uh, lots of leaves in here. That's okay. It's nature. Some water, Sprite or water wisteria. We'll save that. But then a bucket, great for guppy fry raising. Take in all the leaves and the bulbs that went bad. Now, the last time I put my hand in this tank, I found an alien. I mean, a dragonfly larva. So hopefully that's an alien, because that kind of scared me. So, a lot of this Kabamba that uh, Corona Ken gave me, it grows very, grew very well out here. I'm gonna try to, there's a lot of fry stuck in it, so I gotta try to shake it all out. Because eventually I like to put this in different guppy tanks, not just mutt guppy tanks, but I don't, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. Look at it all, look at it. Could be like a wig for me. This may go to fast motion now, because it's probably pretty boring for you. fishy folks tip number one I'm gonna drain the water and it's really dirty I'm gonna drain it through a net to keep it a little cleaner and this way if there's any fish that I catch I can certainly hopefully get them out of this net getting eaten by mosquitoes I must be delicious no fish Well, that was a giant mistake. I just tried to grab a big scoop to see what I had left, and uh, all I did was dirty the water, catch a leaf and a snail, and nothing else. So what we're gonna do is, <laughs> we're gonna let this settle again, and then start catching some more fish, I hope. Next tub. Same thing, I'm gonna take out these plants and uh, throw them away later, if I remember. Then we're going to catch out the floating plants. Lots of duckweed in here. No more goldfish in the fish room to eat the duckweed. Not sure what I'm going to do with it. Yeah. Little uh, green hair algae too. Now I don't mind duckweed. Duckweed eats nitrates, so I don't really mind it. Some people don't like it, especially in a show tank. I get that, I guess. I only have one of those and there's no duckweed in it, so... I had duckweed in it, and then I put a goldfish in there for two weeks with my angelfish. I know, can't be done. I did it. And uh, the goldfish ate all the duckweed. Same thing, drain the water into the net, into the bucket, then scoop out the fish and let the tanks, let the pond settle. While we're here, we'll check this tub, see if I can't see any fish to catch out. There's one fry. <laughs> oh, there's a mama. She swam away. Too fast. All right, we'll let that settle. Go on to the next one. This moss is fantastic. Look at it. Oh, it's so nice. Yep. Of course, now the tank's a disaster, the pond's a disaster. I don't know if this is gonna do this guy justice with this dirty water, but that is a Platinum Red Dragon Mosaic. Looks better than the one that won second place at the Keystone Clash last weekend. 
but uh, that's a good looking fish. Unfortunately, I think I only have fry that are probably females, but we'll see. All right, fishy folks, so I'm gonna let this one settle too. I got the big male out and maybe 10 fry. And uh, yeah, now we'll go on to the Red Cobra Clarion Cube. Lots of duckweed. I keep doing that. Keep pulling out the stuff and making a disaster in the tub. You'd think I'd learn, but not that smart. I'm gonna let that one settle completely because I completely screwed it up, so. Um, let's test the water. Stand by, gotta let the dog in. All right, fishy folks, this is new. Let's open it together. Aquavital multi-test six in one made in Germany. Aquarium Munster. Alright, so nice little test tube. Unfortunately, it doesn't tell you what they are, like nitrate, nitrite, so you have to know NO2 and uh, all that stuff. I'm really concerned about pH and uh, KH, to be honest. So, because uh, that's really what I'm going to check. It also tests chlorine. It's kind of nice. All right. It opens kind of funny, and they're all stuck to the top. Let's close them for a second and look at the instructions. What do you think, folks? French, Dutch, Swedish. What's DK? Hmm. Finnish. Where is the English? Oh, GB, English. What does GB stand for? Ha ha. Uh, please note, keep the test strips in the container, blah, blah. <coughs> so this thing doesn't test for ammonia, and it tests for nitrate and nitrite. But it only tests... What does it say? So NO2, which is nitrite... Uh, is only okay or not okay and nitrate it does test in milligrams per liter which equals parts per million okay all right well let's do this let's see what it says all right can't be that hard can it Dip it, flick it, let it wait. Somebody set a timer for one minute. I'm gonna put these in my pocket. I would imagine most of these tubs are gonna be the same, or close to the same water reading, so I'm only gonna test the one. Maybe I'll test two to test that theory out. I hate, I, yeah. Has it been a minute? Not yet. <sighs> There is a crap ton of mutts in that mutt tub. I'm kind of disappointed in my yield this year, especially with males. Not for mutts, I mean just in general. All right, I think it's been a minute.
So, no nitrite, no nitrate, uh, really soft water under three degrees total hardness, which I knew was going to happen. KH also quite low, zero degrees, and pH looks like it's 6.4. 6.4 holy Jesus I'm gonna have to drip acclimate these little guys the other thing I could do is just empty the tank that's what I'll probably do I'll probably I think that's what I did last year I'll empty the tank and use my auto water change system to just add a little bit of water every day until it's full all right fishy folks that's it for now I'm gonna finish cleaning up these tubs all right, fishy folks, I started pulling some mutts out and I figured I should show what the sun and the bugs do to the, the mutts. Look how yellow that probably at one point was a yellow cobra. Even the, the big female, look how dark she is. And this little female, no, that's a male. This female over here with the uh, blue sheen to her, oh, these are spectacular. That red mutt with that beautiful rounded tail, and the magenta flowing through the body. Man, these are some nice mutts. Love me some mutts. Love me. Alright, fishy folks. About halfway done. Got three tubs empty. Uh, the Clarion tote is uh, the, most of the fish is out of it. And uh, I scooped a poop ton of fish out of the uh, the uh, mutt guppy tub. You can see the disaster I'm making on the ground. Um, I'm soaked. I'm tired. I swallowed some water I would care not to talk about, but water's pretty dirty. I think what I'm going to do, because I took a look at my tank situation downstairs, is um, I think I'm going to acclimate in the, in the bucket for a day or two. Probably for a day. Uh, and then start putting them in tanks and figuring out tank space. I definitely have some empty tanks, but I would have to drill them and plumb them, and I don't know if I'm going to have time or the energy to do that this weekend. So I got to fig figure some stuff out. I don't. I, I want to try not to put these guppies with regular guppies that I already have downstairs because I'm going to treat these as they were new, just to be safe. And um, you know the pH was was off a little bit, so I want to fix that, but. Let's just take a look at nature. There's a spider for you. Hello, Mr. Spider. Um, so, not too happy with my yield, quite frankly, out of this one, which were the blue diamonds, not blue diamonds, bluegrass, or this one, which I don't remember what it was. Might have been blue diamond. Um, I got a bunch of fry out of the, perp, out of the uh, platinum mosaics. The uh, best tub so far has been this one, which I thought was a red cobra, but I think it was one of the um, American koi guppies that didn't breed true inside. Uh, there is a crap ton of fry in there. There's gotta be 50 fry. At least two different drops I can see, because there's two distinct sizes. Uh, so this was probably my best tub, but these are all gonna be mutts, which is good for you guys, because you guys love the mutt guppies. So do I, quite frankly. There's still quite a few babies in there. I gotta let the let it settle. Maybe pull some water out of there and see. Next year, I want to try to do a better job of leveling my stands. If I continue with this method, I may use more of these tubs. Um, this one, I'm just draining. I got out the majority of the guppies out of the mutt guppy tub, but uh, there's still quite a few in there. So I'm draining it pretty low, just about at the width of the net, the height of the net. So I can just start to swirl around and get those guys out. We'll see how that works. Uh, the mutts are in there. You can't see them because of the floating plants. And that's a bucket full of plants I got for out here. So water on the floor. Buckets full of fish. Mike is a little tired. I got to clean my wall here. Now that these are gone, I'll power wash it back here. And uh, all right, fishy folks. When you when I come back, which will probably be in tomorrow's video. Um, You'll see what they look like in their tanks. All right, guys. Have a great day. Don't forget to check out michaelsfishroom.com. 
the ingredient the ingredients yeah looks like the yeah 